Darman, an enigma. A man of skill, a man of honor, a man of truth. A man of which has just been way too covered on this little website we called MeTube. But dear God, I deserve mine, right? I've got to have mine, right? I've covered the pretenders to the throne. I've never covered the emperor himself. I deserve the chance to make a Darman related video, okay? Just once. Let's face it, we're both minutes away from this, the channel, me, you, all of us crumbling into a, a, a climate oblivion. And if I get swallowed up, if California cracks and floats off into the ocean, sinking and becoming an Atlantis of sorts, except all of us just die, and I didn't get to make fun of very funny, funny little boy who's crying maybe, then how is that fair? The accents are the funny thing in this one. And I don't know if you can tell by the just everything's a flag. This one's set in jolly old England. Hello there. Welcome back to me real voice on stream. Gonna put it away soon, but remember, this is the real me. And that will never change. Anyway, we're gonna watch a video. Curly hair kid teased for having... That's what it's about. It's about him having curly hair. That's great. But what? If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Watch it! Oh. He's got curly hair. He's got curly hair. I'm so sorry. You smashed with the wrong lad. Who's this smug with the freckled face? Um, my name's Tony. I just started here. Well, Tony, you're not off to a very good start. What's going on? I wait, huh? Hmm? Ah? E? Hmm. Is he supposed to be British? Or is he supposed to be British? The the Puma bag is a good. I I will say the Puma bag in 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 British schools is like the the Jan sport in American schools. This is what you'll see. That or a Schlesinger backpack. That's a that's a good call. Crony little arms. <gasps> Look at him. He's like a tweet. He's exactly the same as you. <laughs> he, is, he may even be heavier than you. But I think I could just like break him in half. I said I was so- Wait. Hold on. Everybody get your cans off. You're wearing headphones. Did I hear a kiwi? Look at him. He's like a twig. He's like a twig. Well, you know, he's like a twig. He's just got little twiggy arms. When I try and do New Zealand, I go to South Africa very fast. Let's not, let's not focus on it, because I've already lost myself. I mean, I think I could just, like, break him in half. That's a, ooh, that's a kiwi. We got the kiwi alarm. It's fruit time. Everybody cut into their kiwi. Hold on. I said I was sorry. Oh. <laughs> well, either he's not British or he speaks the Queen's. Not I was sorry. I was sorry. Maybe it's, oh, it's Prince Harry. I didn't mean to. <laughs> This has to have been made to capitalize on the, like, making fun of British people me, right? Oh, do you mean to? <laughs> Would you care for a ball? Teach a speckled hen who's boss. Give me one good reason not to knock you out right here. Because I'm smaller than you. Maybe you should pick on someone your own size. I can't, oh, I can't tell if it's, it's like an American doing an accent so poorly that they're drifting into Kiwi, or if that's the real them finding its way I, um, but why would it be, why would he be filming this in New Zealand? That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. We need to be, we need to be taking notes. The only thing on my notepad is shoe rack. We don't need a shoe rack. What are you saying? That I'm fat? That I'm a big lad? Or wait, oh wait. Is it supposed to be in New Zealand and he's the, he's the ex- I'm the exchange student. I'm simply here for an education. Oh my goodness, I see that you don't have the monarchy here. Whatever shall I learn about? Usually a, 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 a duke comes into class and teaches us about the danger of drugs. No, I didn't mean it in a bad way. I am gonna punch the freckles out of your face. Can't do that, not, not, but you can't do that. Not, it's not possible, so. Seemed pretty foolish. That's the worst response. That is genuinely something I would say in this. If you can believe it, I was not maybe the toughest or coolest kid in school. I was, you know, obviously beloved, but maybe I was um, frequently and justifiably bullied. But I was, if somebody had said something like, I'm gonna punch the, the eyebrows off your head, my response invariably would be like, yeah, well, you can't do that. It won't work, so. I'm being punched? Okay, that's fair. Watch out, Max. Mr. Wilson's right there. Mr. Wilson's right there. Hold on, dude. Hold on. It has to be. Does it say where it's filmed? What the f- what's happening? <laughs> it's not the little boy. 
You better watch your back. Next time, they won't be able to save you. Oh. I know. I can think of a 2000, the 90s through 2000 sitcom that begs to differ. Almost every single episode, somebody was saved by the bell. Next time, there won't be a Degrassi to save you. There he is, just in time. I'm just not, I'm, we're not even going to be able to stop with each accent because it's just back to back. Back to back bangers. Tony, where are you going? Well, what? I heard about your first day at school. I don't want to talk about it. Well, then you're going to at least have supper with us. We have our first candidate. He's he, maybe. Maybe real. That one was maybe real. Also, he doesn't have, like, curly hair. Am I nuts? Curly haired kid, tea. He's teased because he's weird. <laughs> he sounds insane. I'll go talk to him. Oh, God, what's that? You were going to come out of your bowl of water? We've all got bowl of water for dinner. Why am I making fun of myself? Ah, where are we supposed to be again? Hmm. Oh, that's right. Mars. Take it you had a bad day. Okay, well, the mum can be Scottish. She's allowed to be that. That's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. That's still technically Britain. They belong to us. I made your favourite for dinner and you're not even hungry. That felt like a real, that felt like a real, real, real haggisman. A real Scot. You're not even hungry. You're not even hungry. Donkey. <laughs> Major Mike Myers energy on that one. Any new mates today? No, just enemies. Enemies? You're a little too young for enemies, son. What happened? <laughs> That's the most British thing you can do, is make enemies quickly. He keeps calling me freckle face and saying he's going to rip me apart. Really? Uh-oh. I'm gonna have to tell your dad about this. Please don't. Phil, would you come in here? I told you not to tell him. Oh, would you come in there? Your son's a, a little beta. You've raised a beta cock. A wee, a, a wee cockled. Some lads at school were giving Tony a hard time. One tried to beat him up. Is that right? What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. He's bigger than me. You need to stand up for yourself. I would, but he'd knock me down in one punch. Which is also possible. What if he's just like Mancunian or from Liverpool or something and they've asked him to put on a more identifiably like... Speaking of the Queens. If he doesn't listen, I've got a few moves that can help you with that. Like boxing? For now, I'm going to teach you how to dodge a punch. <laughs> Hard cut to just mummified bandages of the kid. <laughs> just gets bodied. By it's completely wrecked. A single punch and he shatters like, like crackers. Crackers, like the thing you eat, I... Different. With the right, I want you to dodge to the left. Here we go. Well, that's good. Nice. Now I'm gonna come in with the left. I want you to try duck this one. Nice. Yeah, that's gonna work really, really well if he punches in slow motion. We'll try and speed it up a little bit now. Here we go. That's good. Oh, good. Keep it going. Keep it going. This was a real northern dad. He did this. <laughs> this, this, this could be laid out by now. They don't, he's not gonna hold back. You must adapt like a like a Grecian warrior, like a Spartan. You must get stronger or you die. This crap never fills me up. I'm still hungry. I could go for some dessert. Then go get some. I've got any money. I mean, you could always kill and eat him. How is it going, now, freckle face? I love these. My mom used to pack it in my lunch every morning. My lunch. My mom used to pack it in. Oh, it's, we're we're approaching. We're approaching a a jolly St. Patrick's Day once again. But I'd eaten before I could even get to the bus. Nice story. If you want one, get your own. Nah. I want yours. Consider it payback for yesterday. I already told you, Max. It was an accident. Now leave me alone. He loses this fight, and then he gets training from that uh, Olympian that we saw briefly, and then uses his, his overwhelming power to behead the bully with a roundhouse. Maybe I wasn't clear. That's mine. You've been training. How did you move the Portuguese tart that quickly? Who taught you? Was it Olympian athlete Dar Man? Are you mental? I can destroy you with my pinky. I'm not trying to fight you, Max. Then give me that. Otherwise, we can have a problem. Now that they're wearing completely different uniforms. <laughs> it's, you know, uniform? What's the thing that's got to be uh, uniform? Uh, not even close. I told you, Max, not trying to fight. Too late, Speckle Face. <sighs> oh, okay. He that's good. He's also from the the school of slow mo striking. You psych your opponent out by hitting them around 15 minutes after you start. Stop moving. <laughs> <laughs> 
Not so tough now, are you, Max? Be quiet and stop laughing! You know what, Max? If you want it so bad, you can have it. <laughs> That's one of his moves he learned. Dad, Dad! I killed him! Dad, I took his life! The scene ended and then I got my butterfly knife out. <laughs> Do you love me now? Boys were really trying to hurt you. Should I tell the headmaster about this? No. I don't think he'll ever mess with me again after this. The thing is, is that they're not screwing up the terminology. That's what you'd think. You think they'd say, like, principal. Because people, they don't, we don't say principal. You say headmaster. And that seems like something they'd miss. I mean, I know this is based on the true story from 25 years ago. Come on, let's go home. Don't get so excited, Freckles. This is gonna beat you after what you did to him. Yeah, he might be quick. We're just still scoring out like a weasel. <laughs> it almost feels pointless to comment on their accents. This kid is not spoken enough. He he's in a different genre. He's on a different continent. Like there's the I just I can't. He's I don't understand. We're still squirrel like a weasel. I still squirrel like a weasel. Why is that quite that way? <laughs> the man's all vowels. The man needs to buy a couple consonants. Next time you won't be so lucky. Lucky. <laughs> is everything okay? Not really. Apparently, I'm squatted out like a weasel. I'm always gonna get picked on for my size. You're young. You're young, yeah. You're scrawny like a weasel. It's not your fault. Sorry, you're worried about that. Can change. How's that? I'm working really hard in the gym. I think it's time for you to meet Bobby. He can really teach you how to fight. I don't know if. Hmm. Yeah, if somebody goes to the gym consistently enough, pre puberty, they're not gonna get taller. <laughs> they're not gonna get. Just generally bigger. Not like extending an image in Photoshop where you grab the corner. He's just gonna be weirdly ripped. He's going to be a weirdly lean boy. Hurl him down a hill into a fireworks factory. With help from Bobby, you'll be a boxer in no time. I'm sure of it. Who knows? I might just be the greatest boxer this town's ever seen. Not town, sir. Country. And then, let's see who has the guts to bully you then. This is a hu- This spiked. A kid said he was skinny and that the kid that he easily defeated is somehow gonna beat him next time. And the dad jumped to complete career focus. Not only are we gonna teach you self-defense, which I we touched very briefly, but the power and attack that, that I taught you was not punching, was just kind of moving around. First apologizing and trying to leave and then moving around. Two, you're going to be the world's greatest boxer. I mean like if somebody had a cold and they wanted to go and get some NyQuil, and they went to the store, got NyQuil. They were like, that was incredible. Next time you get a cold, you should become the world's greatest surgeon. Good job, my strange small son. From that moment on, he's here. Sap Guess who's entered the royal chamber? It's Tony trained hard with his new trainer, Bobby, every day. Although Tony was small. <laughs> The dad's weird about this. And it didn't stop him from throwing fast, hard punches. Before long, he started competing. He knocked out boxer after boxer. Okay, but he didn't grow. <laughs> if anything, our point has been proven. He did not get any bigger. Are they gonna recast? Are they gonna bring in a different boy? Cause now he would be what, 14? Then one day, Tony got the biggest news of his life. Mom. Okay, well, that's a relief. They 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 hired Cody Co. At least it's a little different now. What is it? She's got a letter in the mail. They want us to represent England against Ireland. Okay, so we got a whole new whole new approach. A more consistent accent that's nothing like the one that it was before. He wasn't kidding. Oh, Tony! Congratulations! <laughs> oh my kidding. goodness! This is the story of Tony Jeffries, isn't it? Now I think about it. Whoever that is, this is the story of him, I suppose. I guess. At 14 years old, Tony received one of the biggest honors any fighter could ever ask for. A death battle. Tony was rewarded for his skill by being allowed to take the life of an Irish, just the most hilariously Irish casting you could find. How old is he supposed to be? And we put him in green and we made him the most ginger child in the world. This is the biggest fight in your life. Huge 14 year old. 
<laughs> now I'm thinking about it. It's like that photo of uh, Dwayne Johnson when he's like 15 and he's built like a couple of fridge freezers stacked together. So you get all your go, okay? Four seconds out. When the f you can do it, Tony Mike Tyson. Both fighters were so skilled that neither one of them could knock the other one out. Try hitting them in at like full speed physical contact. Is the I mean that would no, what do I know? Okay, hey, I'm built like a backslash. End of the rounds, everything came down to a final tally, and the judges decided he. He either wins and this is his path to the Olympics, or he loses and this is like the end of the second act. But then what's even the story after that? He just takes his rage out on, a, on the, the Kiwi kid that he went to school with briefly, or I guess just never bothered him again. The Irish boxer was the winner. A mind for narrative. Let me go get my film degree. <laughs> Let me go get my otherwise entirely useless diploma. And flap it in front of the screen like a Union Jack of sorts. Tony and his family were devastated. Oh, son, I loved you briefly and not anymore. I can't believe they're living beers. They gave it the best you had and that's all that matters. Even if still was in love. He looks so British. You can't feel like I let the whole country go. No, you didn't, Tony. No, you didn't, Tony. Nobody knows about this tournament. We did this for money. And we bet against you. We've been deliberately training you poorly for just this, just such a day. Takes off his mask. I was the Kiwi boy. Hey, is that the behavior of a champion? Not a champion. Well, he's not like, yeah, exactly. Don't need the behavior of a champion. I can be a sore loser because I am one. A massive loser. Don't clip me just saying that about myself, please. You know, just lost. See, if that was a Northern parent, the advice, the feedback would be, shut up, all right, shut up, please. You shut your mouth. And then the kid would be like, yeah, absolutely. I'll suppress this feeling until my head explodes at the age of 45. It's not always about winning or losing. Mm. Not an athletic man myself. I might contest. It's literally only about that. I, and that's just my, my, I guess, my feedback. And that's why I'm not a boxing coach. That and um, all the things I, I'm, my fists are lethal weapons, so I'm not allowed to be. Let's be honest. I made a fool of myself tonight. Now people are laughing at us. I mean, it's just like school all over again. You know, maybe I'm just always going to be the scrawny, freckle-faced kid. This is like going on a little journey. Just flowing in on the Thames, hopping out, going to the Lake District, flipping over to Wales for a second. Let's let's look at a couple of sheep in a rather sussy way. Then we'll drive ourselves up to the black country, lose ourselves in a little voice like that for a while and appreciate Peaky Blinders. Take off our Peaky Blinders cap, hop on the first Great Western service to Reading, have a little explore around there. And when you're all done with your fun, you head up to Scotland and you argue with people about whether or not it's part of Britain. Tony, even some of the best boxers in the world, they lose from time to time. Hey, what did you say to me when we first started? This bit's long, isn't it? <laughs> this bit's a little bit long, isn't it? I mean, I know I'm pausing it a lot, but oh, Jesus. Tony God. didn't know it yet, but his dad and- Wait, I'm gonna do the narration. Muting, muting Dar, as much as we love you, I'm doing the narration this time. Tony didn't know it yet, but his dad and Bobby were right. But his boxing career is about to really take off. Tony continues to take down every opponent he faces and wins every match. By losing the big fight, no, it, o it only motivated him to work harder to get better. Until he traveled back in time. <laughs> back when the world was in 480p. He goes on to become the European champion at the age of 16. And after years of hard work, he goes to the 2008 Beijing Olympics where he wins a medal in boxing. Whoa, Tony looks different. I don't know, man. He teaches millions of people how to box on his YouTube channel and- Oh, he's a YouTuber? Then the jokes are over. What if, this is Darman's YouTube channel that he's like screen recording on. And one of these is just, it's just like, oh, kind of a yikes video. It's just like, um, just like a Steven Crowder video. And they've all got the little red bar showing he's watched them all. And eventually opens a gym in Santa Monica, California, where he trains other boxers. Nice. Good. Look who it is. Oh, I love his curly hair. That just never came up. A curly-haired kid 
teased him. Shouldn't it be like, um, what's it called? The freckles kid. He only talked about his freckles. Have I, have I lost my gourd? Have I lost my beautiful mind? If it isn't Max Taylor. <laughs> Tony Jeffries, the champ in the flesh. Long time, mate. Yes, what brings you to the States? Ah, we're on holiday. <laughs> I figured while we're here, I'd pay you a visit. Blimey, you've come a long way, mate. Yeah, I'm not that scrawny kid from school anymore who used to pick on. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Not too proud of those days. So not proud that I I found a much more consistent accent that was nothing like any of the 15 I showcased as a, as a child. That's the thing about puberty, you know? You, you, you're constantly changing, trying to identify who, who, who you are at your core. I don't blame him for changing um, his, his accent and origin about 25 times in the space of, man, how long was he even around? Like a couple of minutes. Really sorry for how I treated you. It's all right, mate. We were just kids back then. Speaking of kids, who was this lad? Ah, it's my son, Andrew. I've showed him some of your old fights. He's a huge fan. Maybe you could show him a few quick moves, huh? I've got a minute. Just beat <laughs> the shit out of this kid. This is revenge! <laughs> skull. Just cut to a skull. <laughs> cut. Tombstone. <laughs> Tombstone. My enemy's stupid son, and I'm glad I killed him. All right, mate, I want you to hit this right here as hard as you can. Ready? Oh. He's got Liz on his damn arm. Look, he's got Liz on his damn arm. Okay, so, assessment, review. This part, ah, uh, just very boring. Too, very boring and far too long. So we're going to go ahead and hop to the, the summary. Okay, just not going to get into that. Summary. It was filmed in LA, obviously. Starman's in LA, much easier to shoot. What would be the reason to go to the UK? However, they have hired a number of child actors and child actors in general, not only not great at accents, but also nervous when they act. So you're gonna lose the loose impersonation you were trying to do in the first place. What does Darman say? Does he say, oh, maybe, maybe recast, or, uh, maybe dub it. Maybe adjust some of the accents, maybe uh, uh, try and find a narrative justification. No, maybe make it so that the older versions of themselves have similar voices in some way. No, Darman. He understands that life is about consistency, bravery, no compromise. And so he has zero problem releasing something that a bully like me can feast upon. I make fun of children because I do nothing of value myself. Thanks so much for watching yet another YouTube video. And remember, A, don't make fun of me for any reason, especially my voice. B, don't worry about the nook at the back, just to, there's nothing going on there, so don't even worry about it. And see, I love you, and I'm in love with you, and I'd kill for you. Via boxing, I'd kill via really any Olympic sport, bobsleigh. Uh, all I want to do is, is end lives and do it for your benefit. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe and like, and, you know, whatever. <laughs> the video. <laughs> I want to do this if you watch. <laughs>